Hi everyone, OpenAI released their new O3 mini model just a few minutes ago and I want to give you a brief overview of what to expect, especially in comparison to O1, how to use it and also a quick demo. The O3 mini model is a small reasoning model and it supports the most important features that developers search for, that is function calling, structured outputs, developer messages, and of course, streaming. So it's production ready out of the box. As developers, we can switch between three modes, low, medium, and high effort in reasoning. The more complex the task is, the more time you want the model to give to and quote unquote, think harder. The new model is available for plus team and pro users, but for the plus and um, team users, we've got a little bit of a restriction, but I think the restriction is actually quite good. So we've got 150 messages per day with O3 mini, which I think is really great in comparison to, to only 50 per day with O1 mini. So that's really a nice benefit now. So what's also very nice to know is that O1 remains the broader knowledge reasoning model, but the OpenAI O3 mini model is a specialized alternative for technical domains. So you can also see this in the benchmarks a little bit below here. You can see that the O3 mini model performs better in math competition than the O1 model. O3 also performs very good in other benchmarks like the GPQA diamond test. As you can see, it also outperforms the O1 model with high compute, where the O mini model also shines in comparison to O1. And here you can see in coding especially, the O1 mini with medium reasoning effort clearly outperforms the O1 model. So this is of course the benchmark that I'm as developer most excited about and I can't wait to get my hands on that. As you can see for the software engineering bench benchmark, O3 mini with high compute also outperforms O1 here. There are also other benchmarks on the website, but I think these are the most important ones. What's also really nice is the latency. Since O3 mini is a smaller model, it takes less time and it's even faster than the O1 mini model. So, so this is especially something that I'm excited about since I love using O1, but O1, especially in pro mode, is really, really slow. And I want to see that live in action in a few seconds. So now what about the price? If you want to use it via an API, we can see that this is the comparison between O1 and O3 mini. So we've got a 200K token context window. And here's the price, $15 for 1 million input tokens and even $60 for, million, for 1 million output tokens for the O1 model. For the O3 mini model, we only got $1.10 and $4.40 for 1 million output tokens. So it's like 12 fold for the O1 model. So this is a much cheaper model. I think this price is also competitive in comparison to the gpt 4 o model. As you can see here, we've got $2.50 for 1 million input tokens and $10 for 1 million output tokens. So the O3 mini model is even cheaper than the gpt 4 o model. But of course, unbeaten the gpt 4 o mini model with only 15 cents for 1 million input tokens and 60 cents for 1 million output tokens. But I think the O3 mini model provides a very nice and competitive price. Okay, enough talk now, I guess we can now check it out in action. So I created this very simple fast API application by I, of course, and as you can see, this is a very simple dummy application with a very simple CRUD API. So we can use an in-memory database where we can get our users, we can get a single user, create a new user, update a user, and also delete a user. So very simple CRUD application. So if you create a larger application, you often want to add a layer between the database and the API called a repository. I want to test if the model can identify the pattern and provide me a fully updated file. I also want to see how long this takes. So let's start by doing that with O1. So to select a model, you can go to ChatGPT and if you are a plus user, then you can select the O3 mini. And I think the O3 mini high model is only available for pro users. Yes, I actually have a pro account because I'm quite happy with the O1 Pro mode. So first I'm gonna try it out with O1 Pro. So this is the application and here at the end is my prompt. It's a dummy application, I want to scale it. There exists a special pattern for adding a layer. So the LLM should identify the pattern that I want between the API and the database, which one. If you know it, please return one complete file with that pattern. So let's try it out. And since we use O1 Pro, this may take a few seconds. So now we can see reasoning is done and yeah, I guess you can grab a coffee.
Okay, we're done. As you can see that the model actually created and suggested the correct pattern, which is the repository pattern. And here is the code. You can see that we make use of this in-memory pattern. We also get an abstract base class, which I think is great. So in my opinion, the code that the O1 model created is very nice and I'm quite satisfied. What I'm not so satisfied with is that I had to wait almost three minutes for this, let's say, quite simple application. Now let's try the exact same prompt with O3 mini with high reasoning to actually see how long this works. Uh, takes. So, oh, I first saw an error, but now it seems to work. So again, it gets the repository pattern correct. And now this is the output. So it took, can I even see it here? It took 16 seconds. So let's see if it actually got the code correct. As you can see, we also have got a repository in this case. We don't have an abstract base class but the repository itself looks correct. So in the repository, we got our database and all the methods. So here we've got get user, and then the repository actually gets a user by its ID. So this looks fine. And it even makes use of dependency injection in fast API. Yeah, I think that's also nice code that I will just copy and use it in my project. Okay, so in the next days, I will make a deep dive into the O3 mini model and check whether it really can compete with the one but so far it looks promising. Let me know your experience in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.